month, Serena Williams covered Vogue magazine. Yeah. In the issue, she revealed that the delivery of her Grand Slam Gerber baby was no crip walk on the court. Williams had a pulmonary embolism and other blood clots, which set off coughing fits that burst her C-section incision. Here's a woman who had had blood clots before. Okay. She told her nurse, she told her doctors that she needed a CT scan and they weren't listening. They were saying, you're just delirious from the pain medication. Delirious? Who the hell is this hating ass doctor, Maria Sharapova? <laughs> but Serena isn't the only one. The nickname for black women in many doctors' contacts appears to be do not answer. We have this discrepancy um, with different races in the care that they receive. I see a difference sometimes between the way that black women are listened to versus the way that white women are listened to. See, this is just another example of black women being right. Even if you doubt what's coming out of our mouths, you need to listen to our heartbeats. <laughs> the entire situation sheds light on another important fact. And you know I don't normally say this, but there's one particular area where black women are getting too much shine. This is not just a medical crisis, this is a social justice crisis. In the United States, this is incredibly alarming, but black women are three to four times more likely to die in childbirth than white women. Four times. That's both an alarming fact and further proof that Beyonce is always trying to warn us. <laughs> but there's a shocking twist in this crisis. Since stress and anxiety only increase as black women get older, professionals have now found a concept that wasn't even on Al Roker's radar. Toxic weathering is essentially the accumulation of stress that black women face over their entire lives. Women of color have so much toxic stress from discrimination that it physicalizes in some way and affects them when they go into birth and pregnancy. And that might actually be contributing to the incredibly high rates of harm and death. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I had to sit down because I think I'm 12 months pregnant with hashtag facts. <laughs> And while countless black women are dying from medical negligence, two DC hospitals are leaving a Michael Strahan gap between pregnant women and healthcare. The two hospitals that closed were in a poorer area, but it was also an area with a very large concentration of black mothers. There were a couple controversies around it, a couple complications. Instead of investigating the hospitals and investigating the obstetric wings and looking into what went wrong and how can we make this better, the hospitals just closed the obstetric wings. Wow, they really think black women are dumb. You don't think we'd notice an entire missing hospital wing? We noticed that Living Single's first living room used to be the Winslow's. We noticed everything. <laughs> and everybody needs to notice this issue more if we want to save black women's lives. Just because we give everybody life doesn't mean we have to die to do it. Black women, <laughs> black women are strong, but we are not superhuman. Well, except for this woman. It's <laughs> 